When I was young, I used to like to, uh, to go around into toy shops and, you know, I would never buy anything, obviously, because I had no money, but I just got to look around and appreciate all the nice colors. And it's the same thing right now. It's just, you can be here for hours just looking at pasta. Oh, it's beautiful. The, the, the people that are here, I mean, like, no one's here, no one's in a rush. Everyone's here for the same reason, it's just to get really, really awesome food. Uh, the quality of food you get, I mean, when you go shopping for food, whenever do you sit down and you have a little drink and you have a snack, it's nowhere like that. It's just, it's, it's just, it's one of these nice, rare places that you get, and you get such good food here. You, you couldn't get half nice food like this in a supermarket. I mean, oh, no, I told you before, we're really fortunate to have something like this here, I think. Um, and the price is, you know, it's not even that expensive, it's great. You really, you, everyone just really benefits from this. I mean, all the stuff is local and some stuff is organic and other stuff isn't, but just all tastes good. Yeah. I know you, but I know Alex Oh my god, yeah man, from uh, back in the day at Rob's house and stuff. Rob Moore. You were, uh, yeah, you played hockey with Richard. Yeah, that's uh, Organic uh, meat, cow. Uh, yeah. You, you buy meat from uh, some bits of your we're, we were, yeah, we're gonna get a piece there and we're gonna get a piece of non-organic and uh, taste them, see the difference and stuff like that. Uh, I've been cooking for about uh, 12 years, you know, a little bit at home first, but uh, pretty much at jobs ever since then. Cooking something that's always been uh, fairly easy for me to do, and it's fun for me. I mean, you get to, get to learn about all these different cultures. And, uh, school never really worked out for me, never was really the right place for it, so now that I'm going to cooking school, I mean, uh, it feels like the right kind of fit. I would say that I, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, cooked over 25,000 steaks in my life. Uh, the meat looks really nice too. I mean, uh, it's, it's nice red color, which is nice because it's uh, biological. So, I mean, you're not expecting this thing to have been doused with uh, chemicals or something like that to turn the meat red, you know? Uh, some nasty stuff, hamburger meat. Brilliant red, look at that, it's crazy. It's amazing. You always tell, if it looks raw and you still want to eat it, then you know it's good. Bonjour. Est-ce que je peux avoir 200 grammes de contrefilet? Merci. That's correct. Non, merci, ça va être... I have a feeling that I'm going to feel better about eating the organic meat. I'm going to say, hey, this is organic. And, uh, and I would like to see, I would be very surprised if there was a difference in flavor. I would, I would be very surprised. And if organic tastes better, I would be inclined to buy organic more. I think that organic should win out on most of these categories. I, yeah, that, that's my opinion. I, I would, I would be, 
I would be pretty sure that organic texture would be better. And, uh, and I don't know about the flavor, but definitely the texture. I mean, I think it's, it's organics just in general, it's a great idea. I mean, a lot of people probably are worried about the food that they eat, you know. Ça c'est du trèfle. Le trèfle rouge, ça c'est du mie. Et les feuilles que tu vois, il y a... C'est pas juste de la fibre. Fait qu'elle a été faite au bon, au bon moment, puis elle sent très bonne. Puis euh, mes petits veaux, ils l'adorent. Fait que ça, je donne ça, juste l'enrobé pour mes veaux pour mes génisses de remplacement au travers du foin. I think when they hear the word organic, uh, it just makes them feel better already. They instantly know that uh, okay, this chicken or this cow was raised properly. It wasn't abused like those other ones are, or genetically modified to grow no feathers or those horror stories you hear that that are almost like urban legends. Um, and so I think it gives people reassurance that they're eating really good food and I think that they really like and enjoy that. You know, unless there was a really big scare, that would probably uh, motivate a lot more people into buying organic. Uh, a mad cow or something like that, or an E. coli outbreak, I, you know. But, uh, you know, I mean, I, in my point of view, it's just good that people are bringing steak home and cooking for themselves. Instead of um, ordering or going to a fast food place, so. Me, the major problem would be to at least let people bring food home, cook for themselves, and then after that we can worry about uh, organic or non-organic. I don't know too much about organic food, but um, if you were to say, what would be like one difference between organic and, and like uh, non-organic? The taste. Uh, the taste? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, it's good, the same thing than the normal uh, meat. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, it's still meat, right? I'm, I'm really looking forward to the organic piece that we bought yeah. today. Uh, yeah. if, if, you, when if, you're going to cook it, you're going to see the difference. Because uh, the water in the, each steak, yeah. uh, the, the fat in each one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if, if it tastes better, you will turn me into a believer and I will always buy organic, for sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a nice day.
So it's going to be fairly easy to remember uh, which one is organic and which one isn't. So the size. Okay. Well, they feel pretty much the same. Okay. So I think we're good to start cooking. Would not be able to tell the difference yet. There's something just so great about cooking a steak is the the smell that comes off it or the the noise. I mean I'm sure a lot of people are going to tell you that just just that noise of something touching down is just going to be like you could tell when someone's doing it properly just by the noise that it makes. So this is the non-organic meat. All right. Not the ideal sear I wanted. Hopefully this one's gonna be a little bit better. You can see here the uh, dark brown, that's what you're looking for. That's the uh, caramelization. Okay. okay, good, it's heating up. That's all I wanted. All right, now number two, the organic. So here we go, both sides are searing off. I haven't noticed anything uh, from the scent-wise yet. Uh, I mean, uh, it smells pretty good, but I thought that the, uh, the non-organic piece smelled fine also. Nope, it's cooking the exact same way, uh, same pan. I washed it out, so uh, there's no uh, juices that are getting muddled there. Uh, olive oil, salt. See how my steak's doing in here? Oh yeah. Looking good. Tastes good. Okay, so here is the organic. Here is the non-organic. Okay. Um, I would be happy with that steak if I, um, if I ate that at home. I mean, if I, uh, if I went out paying $40 for a steak, I don't know if that would be necessarily the, uh, the right choice for me, but so here's the... Again, it tastes good, but um, I really don't taste a big difference here. Hmm. I feel like this one, I mean, uh, flavor-wise, there I, I don't taste a, a gigantic difference like the guy in the butcher shop uh, said we would. but I'm getting... Mm. It, it's almost like this one's a little chewier, but I mean, not, not in a bad way. It's a, uh, I like, honest, this one's tasting, not tasting better, but I'm enjoying it more as I eat it. That's the, um, the organic one, but, uh, I mean, if you were to cut these both up into cubes and serve half and half to someone, there is no way they would assume that this is from a different animal. I mean, a, a different steak. At the end of the day, we got the same product, so I hope that there's not too many people being tricked almost by this organic food craze. Um, maybe for grains and for fish and other things it's a lot better, but at least for what we had today, I, uh, I wasn't that impressed. Um, I had a really good time. It was nice to go to the Atwater Market, as usual. Uh, the people there, just it's, it's such a great environment to be around. Um, 
it was neat to meet the butchers and to you know ask them about their food. I thought that was that was it was it was neat to hear the story of of what happened. It's too bad that um, some of it didn't stand up to what we were told, but uh, you know. I mean, it was great. I'd love to do this again. And I mean, cooking food is is what I is you know what I do. It's what I live for. So I would. This was amazing.